Yo guys, welcome back to the channel for regarding the Nom Nom Verse updates that we have been doing uh, during the uh, Kickstarter, you know, I guess the run up to the Kickstarter fulfillment. Uh, we've been covering this since like February when this all started popping off. And let's just kind of go over a couple of updates that uh, I have not updated you guys on over the recent weeks. So let me go ahead and get those announcements pulled up here and then we can go from there. One of the bigger announcements, I will go ahead and, uh, you know, put it down below, but... Or I'll, I'll put it on the screen here shortly. So, whoop, let's put myself there. We're gonna go ahead and do this. All right. So, the most one of the one of the most recent updates was a few weeks back. This was about a couple weeks ago now. They did show us the starter decks being finally completed from the looks of it. Here they were cutting the, the starter decks, all the cards. You see, this is uh, Amos along with the Asterix, which this is the Asterix is gonna be like the boss monster for the deck, and so that's Amos. And then we also saw you know, uh, the Ralph and the Big Daddy. So this right here is going to be for the Ralph deck. So Ralph is going to have Big Daddy as a boss monster. Notice that the the hollow pattern is going to be the same hollows that we have received thus far for kicks for um, volume one through four packs. A little bit more information on that here shortly. So after that, we did get another update for mystery pins, which these will be up for sale during the Spookala uh, community stream or live stream, I should say, for uh, October, I think, 5 and 6. But uh, again, I'm not a huge fan of pins. I'm not one to collect pins. Even back when I bought some MetaZoo pins, the only reason I bought those MetaZoo pins was to hunt for the, you know, serialized, or not serialized, but the alternate art um mothman the alternate art headless horseman that was really the only reason why i picked up those pins i don't believe that these come with um with cards in them this is i think this is just straight up pins uh there are there are two serialized pins that you can pull and yeah this again this is a product not for me i'm sure there's a lot of people that will be purchasing these because they like pins i'm not a pin collector i don't care too much for them but uh cool i'm glad that they're they're expanding their their product reach i should say um so that will be available again at Spookala and also during the Drip Shop live stream for Spookala for people like me who can't make it out to Spookala and actually enjoy the products that they offer there. Um, besides that, they've had several community updates on Drip and this is one of the most recent arts uh, shown off. This was for the, the Discovery tier on Kickstarter. For those of you who are not aware of what the discovery tier was the discovery tier on kickstarter basically allowed you to purchase or to back that slot and you could work with an artist on your own nom nom verse card there was very very limited there was only like maybe what six or eight slots and they went those were the first ones to go so this is rio the friendly beast and i gotta admit i do like this little you know, dinosaur jawbone as the collar for Rio. Thought that was a nice touch. And this will be one of the cards that you can pull in the Kickstarter set. So let's continue on to the to the spicier stuff. So let me go ahead and open this in a browser. And then I will go ahead and get this up for you guys. Let me see here. Ooh, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. All right. So this is the Spookala schedule, okay? So let me see if I can zoom in a little on that. So there will be promo packs. Now, those promo packs at the making at the time of making this video are almost completely sold out. There are only like 30 packs of those promo packs left and a little bit pricier than I would have liked. However, I do, I do realize and I am aware that, you know, these promo packs were only, are really only supposed to be at the convention. They did set aside 500 for, you know, pre-sale. And I think they're, they're still going to be doing some sales of the promo packs on Drip for viewers that can't make it out. So I did get two packs uh, on pre-order or I guess on pre-sale. And the, the packs are $25 per pack. Each pack gets you, and I'm going to move myself over here. Each pack gets you two cards per pack, one guaranteed Ralph non-hollow, and then one of these other cards. Now, it's a seven-card set. The hardest one to pull will be the hollow Ralph, along with, you know, followed by the, the game ghosts, right? The the, Vault Ra the Voltaraptor game ghost and the Big Daddy game ghost. So, you may be wondering... Hey, those look familiar. And yes, they are the same exact promos that if you back the Kickstarter and you're, you purchase the Game Ghost promo, um, I guess, pack, you would be receiving these as well, right? So they're the same, same artwork, except there are some small changes. So if I'm not mistaken, 
the Kickstarter uh, back, uh, backed Game Ghost promos are all hollow, okay? Followed by, you know, these two are the rare pools in there as well. These are going to be non-hollow variants from my understanding. And then these three down here are going to have a very unique holographic pattern. So these are not going to be the same hollow pattern as the ones in the Kickstarter promos that you may have purchased during the Kickstarter. These are going to have completely different holographic pattern. They're both going to be hollows. They're just going to be different hollow patterns to distinguish the two. And uh, Ralph as well is going to have a unique foiling pattern. Okay, so the, the Ralph is going to be the hardest one to pull. I'm assuming it's going to be, you know, similar to like the uh, the Dread Ralph for Halloween uh, last year. Maybe maybe a little bit better pull pull odds considering how many packs there are. But yes, Ralph, Hollow Ralph will be the biggest hit of these packs, and the the Hollow Game Ghost will be you know as well. Though this is the hardest one apparently. So there are two thousand five hundred packs. They've preloaded two hundred and or, sorry, they preloaded five hundred of those. Packs are twenty five dollars each. If you guys are interested in in the remaining packs, I will put a link down below for you guys for Drip Shop. Uh, they will only be available through there and. Yeah, so this this is probably one of the biggest updates that we've got. Now, I kind of want to go back to the most recent Kickstarter update. Okay, this is, I think this is, this is one of my criticisms that I have uh, thus far. Now they did finish up the starter decks for Amos and Ralph. Okay, this was posted two days ago, which means they have hopefully moved on to the rest of the product. Now. Over the last few weeks, they have been only sharing the starter decks. They have only been sharing updates regarding like the starter deck printing, the starter deck, you know, uh, print sheets being cut, the starter deck. Now the starter deck boxes and, and and the starter decks themselves assembled. Here's a couple of criticisms for it, right? One, they're in like shrink wrap for what they use um, for like promos. This isn't the typical shrink wrap you see for starter decks, right? There seems to be a lot of room in there for cards to shift it's not it doesn't seem to be a tight shrink wrap on there so we'll see I, I don't know how i feel about that hopefully again this is all kickstarter product this will probably evolve over time and then the next the next biggest thing that i didn't like was the starter deck design okay now the starter decks have been changed the designs have been changed from the original artwork that they shown that they had shown off this right here for starter deck boxes i am not a fan of um that is my opinion i'm sure it's going to be a, a nice you know i'm sure the cards are going to be cool the starter decks are going to have some cool stuff in there but this design is not it's it ain't for me man i think they really i think they took a step back from the original artwork that they showed us and i'm really hoping that they change that i'm, I'm hoping that going forward you know they kind of reassess the starter deck art they, and, and and here's the thing what does that entail for the booster boxes, for the blister packs, etc.? Because this right here, these were the original starter deck designs that were shown off in the Kickstarter. Why they decided to change this, I'm not sure. Um, I'll be completely honest. I have not been as active in the Discord for a couple, for actually for a few months. And again, mainly because of, of work. You know, now my busy season is starting to slow down more and more. I'm hoping that come October, which is when we're supposed to be receiving the Kickstarter product, I'll actually have more time to you know scour the discord and you know hopefully open product make more videos etc but this right here was a really good design in my opinion it showed you know nom nom verse and really nice letters it had a really nice background to complement the, the both of the characters right and then on the side starter deck you have all the symbols here it's a nice looking box but compare it to this man when you look at the front of this box it doesn't look appealing to me it's not an appealing box. And and I get and again, that's my opinion. I'm sure they may have already expressed why they decided to change it. If you guys notice the dimensions of this, this looks more like a square versus you know, typical rectangular starter decks. Now, does that mean they added more things that required it to be squares? I I don't know. Um I'm hoping I get more information on that from from the community from from the team itself as well. But they really, really did change this design. And then the next question is, what does that mean for, for example, the playmats and the booster boxes, the blister packs? Because the blister packs are designed to look like this. 
okay the blister packs have the same ralph you know with this uh brown rune background and it, they look nice and appealing they look like something that you go to the store you look and you're like oh this looks nice i want to try this out this just to me does not look like if i were to go to a random store this is not something i would pick up and and try to see what it is at least from the front the back does have more information on it you have uh, Ralph's sister, you have a chicken head, Dinobug. Uh, I forget the name of this new Nomster that they revealed. But even like the sides here, man, they completely changed everything. This is, again, could have been better. It could have been, if it was like this, it would have been way better in my opinion. I'm sure, you know, there's some people that may like the new design. Let me know down below, man. Do you guys like the new starter deck designs? I, I don't. I hope that, that going forward they do change that. And who knows, they might leave this design for you know the non kickstarter product down the road if they ever decide to do first edition which again it's now in their plans if they need to do a first edition they are prepared to do so but i don't know man this ain't it for me man i really hope that they don't change a lot of the other product uh, because they completely changed the designs for the packaging so there's that uh here is the starter deck now if you guys notice the starter decks it's in like the typical promo card shrink wrap it's not the nice tight thin um like plastic film that you're accustomed to in most starter decks i don't know how this is going to work for transportation reasons like will this because there's a lot of space there's a lot of space in here now maybe they're going to shrink wrap this further right but again this looks like again look there's the crimps up top here this looks like for example here's a, a a starter i'm sorry starter a promo pack for uh, elestrals right you see how you have that crimp up top and it's like a thicker plastic and it's almost like a you know like a like a pack so i don't know how that's gonna how that's gonna be done there's a lot of space for cards to shift up and down or maybe they're filling this with air to keep the cards safe and i mean i'm dude i don't even know but that's definitely another uh i guess criticism i have regarding the starter decks it could be it's probably nothing it's just something that I'm not accustomed to, considering how many games we've all opened up. And, you know, I guess the standardized way of doing starter decks has been, at least in, like, starter deck uh, packaging, has been, like, clear wrap around all the cards to keep them nice and tight. And so, again, that kind of begs the question, what what are they, are they adding anything extra to these? These look more squared than rectangular, in my opinion. So, I don't know. But that's that's something. And then... Here's the, the, that's the game go stuff. But then let's kind of go back to the original campaign, right? So will the boxes stay the same, right? If, if they've already changed the packaging for the starter decks, can we now expect this packaging to also change? Because it really did complement it color-wise on, you know, with the original starter deck design. Like, can we expect a darker tone like this? Because, like, this background here is from the Doorway series. This is from the doorway packs. So, like, they reused the artwork from the doorway packs. At least that's what it looks like to me to put this on the starter decks, right? So, like, if you guys remember the, the doorway pack uh, artwork on the front of the packs, like, this is the, the little vortex that they kind of had going on in the packs. So, they reused that same art, put Amos and Ralph in the front. And, again, it, it ain't for me, man. I think the design really, they, they missed a step in the design aspect of that. But... You know, art is subjective. Everybody has different opinions. I'm not going to crucify them over it. I just really hope that, you know, they create more eye-catching and appealing, um, I guess, uh, designs for, for packaging. Because as a collector, right, I am mainly a collector, right? As a collector, dude, like, I like having my pieces to look nice on my shelf. They, they you know, they to have, like, that color like the colors matching look basically i want it to look nice right it would be really weird to have the starter decks be this dark color only to follow it up with you know the the boxes being this light marble color like and then what about the blister packs right so blister packs were also let me see if i can find the blister packs i don't think i can i don't think they think it was part of the uh, updates and i might have um right look oh no i did something oh there we go rewards uh da, 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 da. here it is like what about this right like what about the starter decks i'm sorry the the blister packs will these be changed in any way as well to match the new starter decks again it's it's really weird that for the starter decks they went dark when originally everything was kind of light colored does that mean all this packaging will be dark now i don't know man i really hope we get more information on that 
because it's going to be really weird in my opinion to have mismatched color schemes with different products for the most part most tcgs and card games they have matching color sets right um throughout the products like what does this mean for like the battle box right like or like their own version of the etb and like what does that mean for that uh what else do i oh the, what about the booster packs like here are the original here is the original builder kits right so the builder kits come with two of the two of the starter decks and then you get four you know uh booster packs will the booster pack design also change or will it be just again like i'm very interested to see how the design for all of the final packaging will change because just basing it off of this man this is completely different from the kickstarter image and i get it kickstarter images it's kind of like a mock-up of like what they're wanting to do i don't know what their limitations are i don't know what change to make to where the starter decks had to be changed because i'll be completely honest this right here in my opinion just looked a lot nicer so i'm really i'm really wanting to get more information on the other product and whether they will also be changed so that's that's kind of where we're at with this man um i don't know I'm, i need i need more information i want to see all of the new product because it, it really seems like they're they're changing the maybe the product um color scheme because again it does not make sense to have different you know different color schemes for different products like it's not going to blend well so we'll see how that works man but essentially i and i'm going to end it with this so right now they have an eta of october Right, so right now the ETA is mid-October. They're supposed to hopefully be having all of the product shipped out to the team. And then once the team receives it, they can then proceed to, you know, package it up, ship it out to us. Now, my only concern with this is that we have only been seeing starter decks over the last few weeks. So now the starter decks are complete. They are complete as of two days ago, according to, or maybe, maybe a little bit before then, just depends on when they decided to share this. But as of two days ago, they are completed with the starter decks. Now you go on to blister packs, booster boxes. Uh, you got the, the ETBs, essentially. Then you have all of the promo cards they still need to print out. You have the uncut sheets I'm not too worried about. I feel like uncut sheets are pretty easy. You just print them out or whatever. Um, but again, I really want to see the new designs. Maybe the booster box design change I would like. Maybe I'm just, you know... Maybe I just don't like the starter deck design, and that's and now I'm like worried that they're going to change all of their color schemes. And if they do, uh, then I just hope the booster box and all these other products look good because the starter decks for me, again, that's it, it wasn't for me. If there, I'm sure there's some people that really like the change. I kind of like the original ones, so um, that's where we're at. I don't personally, me personally, and, and I don't know if this is true or not. There is there has been any official announcement or anything. I don't see them fulfilling the product in October. Um, there just, seem, there just seems to be a lot more that they still need to get done. And you have basically, what, two more weeks to do it all? You got two weeks to do booster boxes, blister packs, um, plus the pack. So, so you got to print all the cards. And we did get a picture of all the cards being printed out on pallets. So it could be that now they're just producing the packaging and that's what's holding them up. So you still got, again, booster boxes, blister packs um what else oh the game ghost promos that people added on the uh play mats is another one like will we get an updated picture on the play mats right so there's still i think there's still a lot that needs to be made i hope i hope i'm wrong i hope we get this product like within the next few weeks i've been i've been dying to get product in so i can open it up for the channel and kind of review it see what i think about it and all that, all that good stuff i have really enjoyed the promo packs that they've revealed or released I've enjoyed the volume one through four packs. Uh, they have some cool artwork on there. I'm very anime-esque. I'm a huge anime fan. I love it. Uh, and so I'm really hoping that uh, once we receive the product, it's going to be a fun a fun pack opening. Uh, considering they've added a lot of cool things to the Kickstarter product, like the alternate arts with the guest appearances, I think there should be enough demand for this product to keep the value of those cards a little bit you know, above whatever MSRP is. Um, the chase for those cards is going to be a big factor as to people coming back to opening up product. And the, the fact that the Kickstarter boxes are pretty limited, it's going to be one of those things where if people enjoy the product, the Kickstarter boxes will start to go up over time, right? So 
I don't know. I'm hoping we get more information very, very soon for all the other products because thus far we've only really seen updates or I've only really seen updates in the announcement channel and in the Kickstarter update channel for the starter decks. And they've made some pretty big changes on the packaging. I'm hoping that that's not the case for other product. But at the same time, if they're changing the starter deck packaging, I can expect the packaging for the other products to also be changed. So I don't know how I feel about that. I hope I hope that... Uh, I don't know, I just hope we get more more pictures, more updates for the other products, for the other packagings. And it would be really weird if the again, if the color scheme completely changed across the board. And I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I'm gonna go ahead and put the drip shop live uh, link down below. Uh, in case you guys are interested in joining. Again, they only pre they only preloaded 500 packs for pre-sale. There, I think there's like 30 left when I was making this video. And then there should be more for sale during Spookala, October 5th and 6th, between 10 a.m. and noon and 3 and 5. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, man. Were you, for you guys that did back the product, did you guys actually enjoy the changes made to the packaging? Uh, and if so, why? Really curious. Thanks.